Well, good morning, girls. Y'all ready for some food? There you go. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Today we got to separate the flock. This video is part four of six, separating the flock, raising quail part four. Well, welcome back friends. Today I gotta separate the flock. We've had, uh, these birds are getting mature and um, they're starting to overbreed. And um, that can be a really serious problem for your birds. And, and I had to learn it the hard way, I guess, like everybody else. I've lost, uh, see, three birds, three hens to overbreeding and um, just wanted to give you a heads up to watch out for that because when they hit that sexual maturity spot, they really get very active. And if you got too many roosters in with the hens, they will just hound them to death. And I mean, they will literally kill them. And um, the way to check it out is, uh, I, I was thinking about going by the calendar by a certain amount of weeks and then I'd separate, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is watch for the signs the signs are when the crow, um, the roosters start crowing, you start hearing them crow, then you know that they're getting ready. They're at that point. And when you start looking at the top of your hen's heads, they'll peck the, t the, the roosters will peck the top of their heads and grab them by the back of their head there when they mate. And um, you can tell if they're overbreeding because the top of their heads are just tore all up and they got a little scab on them and bloody and it's, it's pretty bad and if, they, if you don't do something about it and it goes unchecked, those roosters will literally kill your hens. So what I wanted to do is I took them out, I, I, I removed my dead birds and I separated the roosters over to what I call death row. This is where I cull them out and I take them over here to harvest them. Um, I pulled out the roosters and I separated them from the hens and I put one rooster to every four or five hens. Right now I have, I have 10 hens in here and two roosters. And I pulled the, the roosters that I culled out. I didn't harvest them right away. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna watch how these guys do. If I've got um, the roosters really being really aggressive and rough, then. I'll pull him out if he's trying to be a bully and I'll take one of these other roosters and swap him out. But that's how you do it if you want to keep um, your eggs fertilized, if you want to continue to incubate eggs from your own flock and create a new um, flock for meat. So this, this batch of birds right here, I'm just doing for a demonstration for you. These are not going to be my um, breeding flock birds. So I'm, I'm just going to go through the process this one time with you on how, how these things, how they, what they expect. And um, I've got another crop that I'm fixing to start of, um, of Coternix Jumbo Meat Makers. I'm going to be using those and I'm going to cull out 10, ten hens and two, two good roosters, the best of that crop. And I'll keep them in this hutch for my breeding flock. And that's where I'll get all my egg production for eating and incubating. And then all the other birds I'll call out over to the other hutch and that's the ones I'm gonna to continue to harvest and for our meat making process. So I just wanted to show you today what we got. Um, we'll let you come on up here and take a closer look. I wanted to show you the difference in a, um, a rooster and a hen and what to watch out for when, when they're getting overbred besides death. You wanna watch the back of their heads and take a look at them and watch how aggressive your roosters are getting. And if there's a whole lot of crowing going on and they're just worrying them poor hens to death, then it's time to separate them out and, and get, the, get it more of a good balance. You see how calm everybody is right now? This is the complete opposite of how it was yesterday. It was hectic in here. You can see that bird right there trying to grab them in the back of the head so there's much to watch for so let's come on up let me show you a, um, a hen that's been overbred and her, the back of her head has been banged up let's see the camera I'll focus on that can you see how the feathers are all missing right there 
and she's been banged up pretty hard. She got a little tiny scab right there. See, so those things, those are some things to watch for. See the back of her head? It's got a little bit of blood on it. You gotta watch out for that. That's, that's from the pecking. Okay. Let me put her back in. And also I wanted to show you her breast. See how her breast is? It's, it's nice and um, brown right here. See, it's nice and brown. Now let me show you the difference between her, a hen, and a rooster. This is a hen. See how his breast is rust colored, his feathers? Kind of orange and rust, rust colored. That's what you want to look for in these guys. That's the, um, the rooster. And you know, you'll hear them crowing too. You know, listen for that crow. Right here they all are, they're um, separated out. If anything, it's much less crowded and they're much happier about that in itself. But not having the roosters tormenting them is a big relief. So this, this is the hint. And I got them in this, this hutch. And then we'll take a look over here. Here's the other hutch. Well, they're all inside except for two. There's five of them in here. Um, this is where the roosters stay until they get culled out for, you know, to be harvested. So that's how we're rolling today. And we'll be uh, saving these for a couple more weeks. I want to get them fattened up a little bit more so I can get them ready for harvest. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back and do a video on actually how to harvest them. If hopefully you'll uh, understand that that's just part of the process. Okay. Well, a short thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a, a peek in at the girls and how they're progressing. And uh, maybe you learned something out of that. Or you, maybe you already knew all that. I'm, I'm learning with you. So this is our first batch of birds and we're having fun learning together. So I thought I would just share it with you. So we appreciate you watching. If you like our channel, please subscribe and be a part of our homestead family. And uh, until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember. By his hands, we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube and posts from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.